Hey guys, I am back with another tutorial. This one is a New Year's Eve makeup look. Um, I did a little more of a dramatic eye and a little bit more of a natural lip color. So if you guys want to know how to achieve this look, then please keep on watching. So I am starting off with my Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer, just applying that all over the lid. Then using my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette in the color Stark, I'm going to be applying that all over my brow bone using the MAC 217 brush. Using the color Danger, this is a bright blue color, I'm going to be applying that all on the side of my lids. Actually, I'm going to be applying that all over my lids. I am going to start off on the outer part of my lid and working my way towards the inner part of my eyes. As you can see, I am also applying some on my crease. Just don't take it too far up. Then using the clean brush, you're going to want to kind of clean the edges up just so there won't be any harsh lines. And then I'm grabbing the color blackout and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on the outer corner of my eyelids. And a little bit, working a little bit into my crease and just don't bring it too far in, just um, kind of spread in that color without adding any more of that blackout color. this e.l.f. glitter glue I'm applying that on the inner of my eyelids and a little bit on the middle of my eyelids I'm not going to bring it too far out of my um, lids and then I'm going to be grabbing this glitter it's a very finely glitter it is from Michaels just remember that it's not meant for the eyes but be careful when you are applying glitter I'm just going to go ahead and apply that glitter above or on top of the eye glitter. And then using this Rimmel um, black eyeliner, I'm just going to be using it to put it onto my waterline and also to tightline. Using my NYX liquid black eyeliner, I'm using it to line my eyes and just to draw in a far wing out. Next for my face, I'm using this CoverGirl Outlast foundation and I'm just applying that all over my face. I did speed up this process because if not, this video would take a long time. If you guys want to see a foundation routine, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. To highlight, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I believe this is in light. I'm using it to apply it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and on my chin. A little fun fact, um, there was an earthquake today while I was filming this. You guys will see a clip at the end of this video that shows the earthquake. It wasn't like it totally threw everything, but you kind of could hear a little rumbling. Anyway, so using this BH Cosmetics brush, I am using it to blend that concealer in and I will be listing everything down below in the description box. Here I'm grabbing my NYX Matte Bronzer to bronze my face, actually to contour my face. I'm using it to apply some in the hollows of my cheeks, on the sides of my forehead, a little bit above my forehead, underneath the sides of my chin, and on the side of my nose. Moving on to my Lorac bronzer, I'm going to be using this to apply it above where I applied the NYX matte bronzer and I really like using this because it kind of blends just everything in nicely and just doesn't make everything seem so harsh. 
So lately I've been loving this MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. It's really amazing. I love the way it applies and it really lasts a long time and just makes you glow to the moon. So for my blush, I'm using this MAC blush in Mocha. I really love this color. It's very soft and it's not so dramatic. Then for my inner tear ducts, I'm using the Stardust Too Faced palette and this is in color Selfie. I really like this color for the inner corners of my eyes for highlighting them. And then I went back with my Urban Decay palette and I grabbed the color Dan Dancer Danger and I applied it underneath my eyes. And then what I did is I grabbed a clean fluffy brush to blend in that color and soften up the color Danger. For my lips, I use this NYX Butter Lipstick in color Pops Explosive. And I the reason why I use this color is because I didn't want to take out from the eyes because the eyes are already dramatic as it is. So I just wanted to use something a little natural for the lips. And then for my bottom lashes, I went ahead and used this Revlon All-in-One Mascara. And I did not apply some on the top of my lashes because I did apply falsies. I used the House of Lashes in Iconic. And yeah, this is the completed makeup tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that found it pretty easy to follow. Um, if you guys have any other questions or any other requests, please don't hesitate to leave them down below. As always, I love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are not already subscribed, I hope that you guys can subscribe. Thank you guys and have a happy new year. There's just an earthquake. <gasps> it's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's a fire earthquake. It's just an earthquake. It's okay. Whew! Caught that on camera while I was doing a tutorial.